Hi, I'm Trish with CIBM Mortgage, and this is Peggy with CIBM Mortgage as well. And we're here with Nikki. Actually, yeah, we're here with Nikki because we're at the Pleasant View Realty office. Um, this is Nikki Capellan with Pleasant View Realty here in Sheboygan County. Um, thank you for joining us with the keys to your new home. And today we're going to talk a little bit about something that, wow, in this season we've been hearing so much about, which is overpriced homes. Some of the people that are getting pre-qualifications from right. us, and I know, Peggy, you've mm -hmm. seen it too, um, that they're nervous to go out and start looking for homes because they will not overpay for a house. Are homes really that inflated right now compared to three to six months ago? Like, what do you think on that? Yeah, I can definitely understand a potential buyer's concern with list prices right now. I mean, sellers certainly want to take advantage of the market. I right. mean, it is a hot market. Mm -hmm. It's a great time to sell right now. Um, but there are some safeguards in place that you don't have to worry that you're necessarily going to overpay. I mean, first and foremost, you guys talk to all the buyers about right. this, but you know, we're going to include an appraisal contingency in just mm -hmm. about every offer. You know, so on top of our market knowledge and understanding what prices are in local neighborhoods, you know, we'll be able to confirm, yes, you know, this is a reasonably priced house or mm, sellers might be trying to get a little greedy here. So mm -hmm. why don't we take a deeper dive at some comps and see what's out there, you know, make sure that they're not overpaying for the house. But also on top of that, you know, when the appraiser comes in, they're going to do a very similar approach. They're going to look at sold properties very recent sold properties, um, look at the value of those and make sure that the house our buyers are buying mm -hmm. has has the value there. Mm -hmm. So the value is as of today. I mean, it's not, it, it, it continually changes. Absolutely. Depending on what's selling, what's out there. Absolutely, because they're looking at recent comps. So, you know, as prices go up, comps go up, you know, future values go up. So it's, it's, always changing. I think right now we're looking at a market where it's starting to level out a little bit. Um, you know, we were crazy. Yeah, right. I mean, in springtime, early summer, I mean, we got to a point where kind of the hot market was that 140 to just over $200,000 range. That's what we've been seeing too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was to the point where there were, you know, 20 to 30 showings in the first 24 wow. to 48 hours you were working with. Um, five, 10, I mean, sometimes 15 offers on these properties, significantly over asking. So if you averaged out the properties that sold within that time, I mean, they were 105% of list price that properties were ultimately selling for. Mm. So it, it was a little crazy. I mean, you look at some then, you know, that's an average. So right. um, I think when I looked back, the largest gap in properties, the house was listed for 299.9. And ultimately sold for three hundred and fifty-five thousand. Wow! I, I oh mean, that's my crazy. gosh! Yeah, it, but you're not seeing it, that as much anymore. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, we're not seeing it as much. I mean, it's they're still going over asking. I think the average right now is about one hundred and one percent of list okay. price, but that does vary based on the price range too. So, you know, properties under the hundred thousand mark are generally, you know, the ninety-eight mm percent -hmm. of list price, mm -hmm. and same when you're looking at five hundred thousand and above. But kind of that sweet spot where things are still going over asking is anywhere from a hundred to three hundred and fifty thousand. Mm, okay, interesting. But with that being said, a lot of these are appraising out properly. For the most part, they yeah. are. I mm -hmm. mean, we are finding a, a handful occasionally that aren't appraising out. But for the most part, the appraised values are coming in at the purchase price. Yeah. So, so that I'm okay. sorry. So as a purchaser, what happens if my appraisal doesn't come out? I mean, we have a couple of options in those instances. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, a we communicate a lot with the buyer and with you as the lender just to talk about what their options are. I mean, option number one, the buyer can make up the difference in cash at closing. So if you know you guys tell us that yes, they have the cash available, they they're able to do that. We'll have that conversation with them. Um, another option is unfortunately we have to ask the seller to drop the purchase price to the appraised value because. The lender, you guys, mm -hmm. and the underwriters are only going to yeah. give them the loan for the appraised value. So if that's under the purchase price, you know, we go back to the seller and say, hey, you know, sorry, it didn't appraise out. This is a third party. We had nothing to do with it. Right. You know, we reassure right. them of that. Mm -hmm. It's not like we get to handpick our appraisers. Right. Um, 
or you know we can sometimes meet somewhere in the middle so the buyer brings a little bit to closing the seller drops the purchase price a little bit and we we meet in the middle somewhere wow that's such good information i i, I think this this was such an important topic to touch on because of what's going on in the in, in the mortgage and real estate environment right now um, but my next question for you is what sets you apart from other real estate agents um you know First to start, I think uh, my husband and I work as a real estate team. So, you know, we work together on all of our transactions. So going in right away, you have the benefit of having two people on your side. My husband's been doing this for 18 years now, and I'm in it about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, between the two of us, we have a lot of experience. Right. We've done a lot of transactions. Um, we, you know, our thought is that the easiest part of real estate is listing a house or writing an offer you know that's only five percent of our job you know mm -hmm. what what we feel that we're really good at is all of the steps it takes to get to closing because there are as you guys know so many exactly. little items that can come up right after you have an accepted offer that you really need someone on your side who has good relationships with lenders really knows the home inspection process the appraisal yeah. process um, we have a lot of properties in the area with private wells sanitary systems, you know, how to work with those testers, inspectors, and companies, you know, if there are issues, how you can address it, resolve those issues. They're just, I mean, it's every day is something new, a new challenge, a new question that pops up. So someone who has a lot of experience like my husband and I, and who has good relationships, even if we don't know the answer, we know who we can go to and they're willing to help us and talk Excellent. us through situations. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing with us today. And thanks so much for allowing us to come into your beautiful office yes, and, and interview you today. And thank all of you for joining us.